What up, peeps? This is Niz, and I'm going to be dropping an impromptu review on y'all. And this time, what we're going to be doing a review of is the not that, but bam, this the B4 wireless meat thermometer. Before I get any further in the review, I just want to say, like in all my all my disclaimers, I do have kids. There they are. They do make a lot of noise, and you are going to hear them in the background. Just ignore them and pay attention to me and what I'm reviewing here. So, that's one of them now. So, let's get into this. This is the box. Nice, simple box here. It's the front of it. Bam, that's what she looks like. B4, that's Bravo, Foxtrot, Oscar, Uniform, Romeo, wireless meat thermometer. This is the dual probe version. Model BF-40. Nothing on the side, nothing on the other side, nothing top, nothing bottom. The back has some specs of the probe. I like the fact that it's a ceramic handle. It says it uh, it uh, takes temperatures up to 572 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 300 Celsius. It has a safety notch, which means you have to insert the probe to that point in order for it to work effectively. Stainless steel probe. Internal temperature max of 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So, I mean, if you're cooking your meat beyond that, then you don't like meat. You like charcoal. <clears throat> That's the usage on it. There's your barcode, and like everything made in China, there's a couple of extra barcodes. You could scan those if you like and see where it takes you. Just probably to their website. So, let's just get into the box. I'm doing one handed operation here, so um, just kind of bear with me. I'm going to pause, get, get this out, and then get back into it. Okay, when you open up the box, this is what you greet it with. <clears throat> you got a little pamphlet here basically um, it shows you how you should be inserting the probe into your meat got some instructions there you can read that pause it and read it on the back thank you for your purchase blah 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 yada 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 you got an actual instruction manual you know how I feel about that when you're reading that and here goes the probe itself got two probes black and white so you know which one is for which it actually says B and W on there. Like, we don't know what black and white is, but you just never know. You got a, looks like a USB cable. And I am imagine that's a USB to USB-C. Let's see what we're charging with here. Oh, where's the port to charge it? How do you charge it? Oh, okay. So you have to open the kick scan, and then you'll see your charging port, and it is a, in fact, a USB-C charging port. But it's nice that you have little kickstands so you can actually set it there. Now, what I like about this is that this does come with an app, and we'll get into the app part of the review um, a little later. But what I want to do is I want to get one of these probes. I want to get this set up and get one of these probes in there and uh, get this bad boy start cooking. And then uh, I'll come back for the app portion of the review. And then we'll go around this a little bit more. So catch you on the flip. Okay, real quick, while the app is downloading, I just want to go around this a little bit. What I like is that it comes with a little tab on here to help pull it out. And when you pull it out, it automatically turns on the machine. So that's pretty cool. Or if this is a button right here, you can turn it on and off too. And then as you see, I got the white probe out and it automatically connects to the white probe. And you see that it shows that it's 49 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna have to change that to Fahrenheit because I'm in America and uh, you know, imperialist measurement system here. We use Fahrenheit, not Celsius, but that's what it says the current temperatures are. And uh, so I just wanted to go over that real quick while the app is downloading. So. Now I'm going to get into the app and do that. But I just wanted to point that out real quick just from what I gathered. Okay, we're back in. I got my probe in the meat. I just added a little bit more seasoning on there. As you see, I don't know how well you can see this because there's a little bit of a glare. But it does register the temperature at 42 degrees Fahrenheit because I did have it in the refrigerator. You know, some people say I should have let it get more to room temp. But, you know, there's no direct science that proves that that's necessary. So... Uh, the temperature inside it says is 42 degrees and the outside is 140 which can't be right oh no the presets 140 and the current temperature is 42 okay um, let's see what the app is doing and then um, and then we'll go from there as you see the app shows that it's at 43.5 and now I'm about to put this bad boy on the grill and and just watch it go up a little bit. 
Okay, I got her on a grill. You hear that sizzle, a little bit of ASMR. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this bad boy cook low and slow for a couple hours and uh, see what we're working with. Also, I just wanna show you that the, the meat is in fact on the grill so you don't think I'm BSing. It is on the grill and, and the temperature did already raise up to 44 degrees. So it is in fact working already. So let me turn this heat down a little bit and uh, let this bad boy marinate. So I will catch you on the flip again. Okay, we back in. As you see, my thermometer, the base says 156. The preset was 140, but that's because I sauteed it. Um, you know, had to get my little flambe on. But let's show you the app. See, the app reads 156. The alarm was just going off. I did shut it off because it was an uh, annoying beep sound. But. Um, I just want to show you and then let's take a look at the actual meat as it's sitting here resting. Let's go back to the camera. That's what she looks like. Look how good that looks. And most importantly, the probe held up to the high heat. Temperature's finally starting to come down. But um yeah. I have to say, definitely cop this. It's definitely worth it. The links for this will be in the description. And this is the review of the B4 dual probe wireless meat thermometer. Definitely cop that. Links in the description. And I'm out this piece.